Ciao everyone, I'm Rosella Rago and welcome back to Cooking with Nonna. We are here once again in Nonna Romana's basement kitchen with the one and only Nonna Romana. Say hello everybody. Hello everybody, I'm Nonna Romana. And Nonna, tell them what we got to make today because I think they got a clue here. Mm -hmm. What are we going to do? Uh, today I got to make uh, rigatoni e broccoli. Mm. They're so good. I love it. My favorite, mm -hmm. guys. My weakness is mm -hmm. in this world is pasta with broccoli. Very you know? good, very good. With some nice garlic and oil, you know. Che you put cheese at the end on it? You no, no, no cheese, oh, okay. no. I put just the garlics. Garlic, so olio. No eh, cheese, so. just garlics. Uh -huh. very if you good. want cheese, you could put it. If you want yeah, it. If you want to no. do it. I'm just saying, she's, she's not going to do it. In my family, nobody puts cheese in the broccoli. Nobody. No. Okay. So we're not going to do it today, but if you want to do it, Nobody's stopping you. The cheese police is not going to come arrest you. So I suggest if you want to do that, you should do because it it's a free country. You know, you can't tell people not to put cheese on things. Oh, yeah. I you know. know. It's okay. <laughs> so what are we going to do first, Nonna? First, you got to take away this one and you got to keep it because sometimes I need it. What do you need for a I rubber know. band? Sometimes I need it. Okay. I want to put something that together. I use a rubber band. Okay, fine. Some people use these as money clips. Fun Italian-American fact. <laughs> Useless Italian-American fact. Anyway, okay, so show people how you clean the broccoli. Yeah, I got to clean it. Okay. I, need a, I need a knife. You got oh. a knife. One oh, yeah, second, sure. I'm going to get a knife, too. I forgot sure. the knife was on. You still here? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I thought you, you were going to run away. You clean, too. So these broccoli, you're definitely going to trim this, right? Questo è brutto. Lo buttiamo. No, you got to cut a little more. No, I know. But questa ah, parte yeah. così. Lo oh, yeah. yeah. Quella di buttare. This is ugly and we don't want to eat. We don't want to eat this. So, oh, you know. Too hard. Yeah. E, e devo togliere tutto il duro da fuori, right? Yeah, di fuori devi togliere tutto il duro. So these, the stalks, some people don't eat them. But we eat them, we just peel them, because this is the fibrous part on the outside, and we're just going to peel them. And I know she's going to get mad at the way that I peel them, because she's going to say that I took too much off, and we could have eaten that, and that was more broccoli, but you know what? I know. <laughs> you know, you want to critic me anytime. No, okay. I don't want to critic you. Yeah, you yeah. critic me, and tu mi dici sempre che non lo, fa, non lo faccio raso abbastanza quando faccio questo. Dici sempre che potevo lasciare di più. Ok, all right. <laughs> you know, we can't waste broccoli. Broccoli is precious. So we're going to put it in here. How you want it, Nonna? You want to slice or you want it pieces? Ah, oh, yeah. No, you cut about, you got to make six pieces for that. Slice it, my you slice. You cut F, a, uh, okay, a, I the got other three, okay. you know, the other three you gotta cut uh, slice. Okay, okay. Okay. Probably still doing this wrong. She's making me nervous today. You don't like this way? It's okay. Okay, I gotta cut it the way I want. I, <laughs> hey, you gotta see me. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, this one I'll let you do it. So we want to cut our broccoli up into nice bite-sized florets. Nothing too, too big. And again, guys, for the full recipe and a complete list of ingredients, just go to cookingwithnona.com. And we have everything listed there. See, for me, these are a little long, but, you know, this one, like, this is long. This isn't a bite-sized piece. I make a little bit smaller. You do the way you want, that's all. I you want care. me to do the garlic and you finish this? No, you finish this. No, you, you, you want to do, do the good. garlic? 
Yeah, I gotta do the garlic. Okay, you want me to finish this and you do the garlic? Okay, I must I finish. Okay, okay. this the last one. She said hey, okay, but she's still gonna hey, finish you this. Cut. And All she's right. gonna do All right. All right. <laughs> so anything that's a little bit long, just cut it so that every bite has a nice piece of broccoli. Now, growing up, this was kind of like our alternate dish for Sunday dinner. Like when we were just, we were that Sunday when you just didn't feel like doing the sauce, I feel like pasta with broccoli was just as comforting, just as like Italian American. You know, the, actually, the addition of cheese to this dish makes it more Italian American because in Puglia, when they boil pasta with broccoli or broccoli rabe, even putting Nima, cheese Nima on the dish. Nima, napkins from over there. Okay, I give you a napkin. Putting cheese on the dish is kind of sacrilegious. They don't do it. Okay, put it over there. Okay. And we're almost done. No, no, you know that they make broccoli now in the bag already clean. Yeah, I know. I never buy. I want to clean myself. Why you want to clean yourself? Eh, because I like the way I clean. That's all. Why? Because you don't trust nobody. Well, it's okay. <laughs> Just to take out a little more bigger, a little smaller. It's okay. Yeah, but you don't got to peel it. You don't want it. You don't want it. If I brought her the broccoli already cleaned in the bag, she would tell me to go Do back some. to the store and get my money back. No. She would be upset. Come on. Okay, so we got our broccoli and we got our garlics. Nana's got her rubber band. This is Thank for you. Thank you. I got to use. <laughs> and I'm going to take this over to the stove and I'm going to show you how we make our rigatoni with broccoli. Okay, so we have our broccoli. And there is a very Southern Italian traditional method to doing this. Now, the idea is that you are going to cook the pasta and the vegetables in the same water so they take on each other, so the pasta really is flavored with the, with the flavor of the vegetables. Very, very Pugliese, very Southern Italian way of doing it. Yes, the broccoli is going to be very cooked and a little bit mushy, but we kind of want it that way because we are essentially making a cream out of the broccoli and it's going to be part of the sauce because, you know, this is a white pasta, essentially. There's no tomato or anything, so our broccoli is going to break down really nicely. So I'm just going to throw these into the boiling water first. And in about a minute, once this pot starts boiling again, we're going to add the pasta because the pasta takes a while to cook. So we're going to add it quite quickly after. I'm going to give this a quick stir. So we're using dried pasta today, but if you were using fresh pasta, very important. You would cook the broccoli all the way through, maybe for about 10 to 12, even 15 minutes, you know, so it's nice and crushable with a fork. And then you would just drop the pasta, the fresh pasta in until it floats to the top. Just a few, few minutes, fresh pasta cooks super quickly. So you would do it a little bit differently. You go by the kinds of pasta you're using. And today we're using a really nice quality bronze dye rigatoni. So you could see that they kind of have this white uh, coating on the outside. It's really, really rough, this pasta, and that's because it passes through a bronze dye, not a Teflon or plastic dye. So this is actually a very good quality pasta product. This is imported from Italy. This is available in La Bottega as well, and we're using rigatoni, so all the lines also help pick up sauce. Hold on, I'm going to cover this for a minute so it boils, and then we can put this in. Okay, so now our broccoli is boiling again. The pot returned to a boil. I'm gonna add the pasta in. And we're gonna give that a quick, quick stir. Now we're just gonna let this cook until the pasta is just under al dente, like one to two minutes 
under al dente because then we're going to make our garlic and oil and we're going to fry it up all together. Okay, so our pasta is almost done. We're almost right below al dente and I'm going to start making our sauce. It's not really a sauce, it's garlic and oil. But I'm going to get enough. I'm going to get enough extra virgin olive oil in here. So, and then we're going to get our garlic in here. And we're going to start browning the garlic, but not like super brown. You want it just gold on the edges. Oil a little bit like that. Because like this kind of has to happen quickly. I'm going to give one of my pieces of pasta a nice taste. Beautiful. So I'm going to just Transfer my pasta and broccoli. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. Okay. So you see how this is sort of breaking down really nicely. It's almost creaming together. I'm going to add a tiny bit of pasta water, of broccoli and pasta water. Just so this can cook really, really nicely. Perfect. Nutella jars are my favorite kitchen utensils at Nona's house, by the way. We don't have any of the fancy stuff here. Oh my goodness, that looks so, so good. And we want to let the pasta kind of come to al dente right here in the pan. That's where all the magic happens. Okay, perfect. This is, looks so good. I'm going to taste a piece of it. Mm. Oh, my God. This is the best thing ever. It's totally perfect and we're ready to eat. I'm going to feed Nona. Okay. Mm, it's so good. Look a good? Look nice. How do you good. think? I think so good, nice. You want to taste? Yeah, sure. Oh, look at this. I live for this. That's enough. That's enough. You sure? Yeah, sure. Goodness, so good. I want some broccoli. The broccoli is the best part, guys. If you cannot get kids to eat broccoli when it's cooked like this, they're never going to eat broccoli. The Italian way to get kids to eat baby food is to just like boil it and then saute it in garlic and oil. Perfect method. Oh my God, are you ready? Yeah, sure. You ready? I'm already. Bon appetite. Bon appetite. Mmm. Mm. It's good? Very good. It's good or it's very good? Very good at then, they're good. Mm. Mm -hmm. So important to keep the pasta al dente for this, guys, because it's a texture thing. You want the broccoli to be nice and soft and creamy, and then you want that nice, hard al dente pasta. I'm going to see one. Hey, don't take that. Why? No, I'm not, not good, the cheese for broccoli. Come on. A little bit. No. A little bit's no good? No. For me, I never eat like that. Okay, all right. The master has spoken. 
Guys, this is so delicious. I want to thank you guys for watching. We're going to see you next time. Nana is really concentrated. She, didn't, she said she wasn't hungry, and now she changed her mind. Oh, I eat everything, you see? <laughs> <laughs> so thank you guys for watching. We will see you next time on Cooking with Nana. Nana, say bye-bye, everybody. Bye, everybody.